guys, Will here with WTF Car Reviews. We're in my all new 2023 Ram 1500 Bighorn. And today we're gonna to talk about what I paid for this truck and the overall buying process of it. So for those of you guys who've been following this channel for quite a while now, know that my previous car was a 2021 Chevy Camaro LT1. And I love that car. Without that car, this would have been a very difficult channel to even begin. Most of my videos that were getting a lot of attention in the beginning were basically strictly of my 2021 Camaro LT1. So no, it was definitely not an easy decision to go away from the Camaro LT1. However, considering the fact that I was already at 40,000 miles, no longer in my um, warranty period, and I had a buyout of about $25,000, which I really didn't want to spend out of pocket, and the interest rates were out of control for the new Camaros, looking at around 7.5%, and the used Camaro is closer to 9, maybe 9.5. And, and I have good credit. For instance, I got 2.9% APR in this truck, which, yes, the truck is about ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 more than a new Camaro would be, but because of the lower interest rate, after about five, six years in payments, I'm gonna be paying about the same for both vehicles. And considering the added practicality, the more space, the just more usable vehicle in general, maybe begin considering a truck a lot more than I ever did before. I was looking at trucks like the GMC um, Canyon with a 2.7 liter turbo. That thing's a powerhouse, making 310 horsepower, 430 pound-feet of torque. But for the price point, for like an AT4 at about $45,000, I figured that you can probably just spend an extra five and go for a full-size truck. And yes, that's exactly what I did. However, this truck, it's a lot more than five when it comes to sticker price. The sticker price on this truck was, I wanna say about $62,000. So after taxes and fees, we're looking closer to like 65, 66 at the least. So it's a really expensive truck, don't get me wrong. However, Ram or Chrysler was offering a ton of rebates. Now the 2024 Rams are starting to come out. For example, um, a Ram with, like, say, a $60,000, $65,000 sticker price on the website, you would see them advertised for $52,000, $53,000. So that made me begin talking to some dealerships. There was one dealership in particular that I no longer work with, but I have worked with in the past under different management. So I wasn't really particularly friendly with the management of this dealership, but I did know a salesperson that I had worked with in the past. So I gave them the benefit of the doubt. I tried to work, with, work out a deal with them. Um, the truck that I was looking at was a bare bones, bare bones. Ram Bighorn. It had about a $57,000 sticker price. It had four by four. It actually had a tunnel cover too, but that was about it. No more options and features. So the sticker price is 57. On their website, they had it up for 42. So yeah, $42,000, I don't care how bare bones it is. You give me a full size four by four truck, brand new, $42,000 before taxes, you have my attention. So I showed up to the dealership. We um, immediately tried talking about like trade-in on my Camaro. They start saying some stuff about how my brakes weren't good and all that. They offered me $27,000 for my car. So I felt automatically disrespected. To come, come along to more conversations, more conversations. I just felt really off put by the general sales manager. So they offered me the truck for 42, not including a $4,000 markup, not including the fact that they won't count my $27,000 trade towards the total buyout of the vehicle, making me pay tax on the full $51,000 after tax and fees. $51,000 still, it's not a terrible price for a $57,000 sticker. This is after tax and fees. But after all of that, like they would ask me questions like how much would you wanna pay for month, per month? loaded questions like how much does the vehicle cost that should be the only thing we're talking about but they would ask me questions what do i want to pay per month what do i want to pay per month i want to pay 600 bucks per month what does the general sales manager say oh we have a compass available for you after that there was absolutely zero chance i was buying a car from them i mean a yes yeah, 600 bucks a month this is for a lease by the way they're just they're sitting there trying to talk me into a lease i'm not really hearing it they're like if you lease what's your price i'm like 600 they're like i can offer you a compass a, I wouldn't pay 300 for a compass. B, 600 is not that unreasonable of a price for a lease deal. In fact, they were offering like a 42 month lease deal at 600 a month. I would have ended up paying like 30 grand for the truck. And then they gave me like a $27,000 buyout. So I'd be paying 60 something thousand for a truck that stickers at 57 that they're offering me 51 to buy out the door. So I just feel like they were trying to swindle me. They weren't very respectful. They were treating me like a kid. And that's just not somebody that I would like to do business with. So I left that dealership wasn't really going to entertain any more of their conversations probably won't make any more videos with them anytime soon until they get probably new management so my dad decided to do me a favor he reached out to the dealership in which he bought his ram from asked for a quote on this exact truck and they give they give a great quote not only did they give a great quote keep in mind the dealership that i previously did the numbers with 
for 51 out the door after tax and fees. That was with like a 7.5% interest rate. Since they gave me all those rebates, they said that they can't qualify me for the 2.9% manufacturer rate. Maybe that's true. Maybe it's not true. However, the dealership that bought the truck from offered us the exact same discount. This is a more expensive truck. It's about $6,000 more expensive. But they offered it for the exact same price with 2.9% financing. Not this, well, about the same price. After taxes and fees, this truck was, I wanna say 56 out the door. So about 51, that's about a safe bet. But this truck cost $6,000 more and they gave me 2.9% financing. So since they gave me that deal, we didn't sign any paperwork yet. I decided to print out that paper that they sent me. Keep in mind, this is a great deal. I decided to send it to the dealership that I do work with, Furman Chrysler Jeep Dodge here in Newport Ritchie, Florida. Great dealership. If you're in the area, please check them out and ask for Mike. I feel so bad for not buying this truck from them. But they were about a day late, and I didn't think they were actually going to get the dealer trade for the truck. So I ended up just going with the dealership in Georgia. The Furman guys, they gave me the exact same deal with a better truck. They were going to sell me the truck for the exact same price, and they were going to give me the exact same price on the trade. Maybe actually a couple hundred bucks more. I believe it was like 30400 for my trade, where the dealership in Georgia gave me 30000 even. So this would have been a better deal and it would have been for a better truck because this was the truck that I was talking about in my previous video that had the trailer tow package. So trailer brake controller, trailer sway controller, and the reverse trailer steering option all equipped on that vehicle. So it would have been a better truck for the exact same price. So did I mess up? Kind of, but this is still a great deal. So speaking of the deal that I got in this truck, out the door, this is, well, before anything out the door, the sticker price in this truck is about $62,000 with 4x4, with crew cab, with the Midnight Edition, and with the Level 2 Bighorn package. There's also a couple of miscellaneous options here and there. I'll leave a link to my window sticker right over here. You guys can check it out. But, so 62,000 bucks, they offered the truck for, I wanna say, a $10,000 total discount, so about 51, dollars $52,000 before tax and fees. After tax and fees, uh, I wanna say it was about $56,000 out the door. So obviously I'm financing that. I don't have $56,000 to put down in cash. And they were able to get me in at 2.9% financing. So 56,000 for say five, six years at 2.9% ends up being about the same as 45,000 over five, six years at seven and a half percent. So that made it almost a no brainer to end up going with a truck over a new Camaro, say a one SS manual. It would have been a super fun car, but it would have been about the same price at the end of the day and a lot less useful. So the details on the financing, I did put a lot of money down. So they gave me $30,000 on my Camaro and um, my buyout was 27,002. So 2,800 bucks of a difference. And I put that difference towards my down payment. With that 2,800 bucks, my total down payment was $20,000. So I financed, let's say $36,000 and I did a six year finance and I'm paying about like 570 bucks per month. I'll leave a link right here to show you exactly what I'm paying. I'll look at the paperwork, I don't know the exact number, but it's about 570 a month. So I think I got a really good deal on it. This was about this was the amount of money I planned on putting down with the other dealership and they laughed when I said 600 and that was for a lease. So yeah, I'm definitely glad that I made the decision that I made. The only regret that I have on this buying process was not waiting an additional day and just buying it from the dealership that has been so nice to me and has been letting me review their cars for the last several months. So if you're looking for a Ram, you're in the Florida area, please check out Furman Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Newport Ritchie, Florida, and they will put you in a beautiful truck for an incredible deal. If they don't have it under a lot, still hit them up. They will do a dealer trade. They'll find a way to put you in the exact vehicle that you want. But overall, guys, yes, this was a 62-ish thousand dollar truck before taxes. Let's say 66 after taxes. I got it for 56 out the door after taxes and fees. I put about $20,000 of total money down, financing about 36,000 bucks for six years at 2.9%, and I'm paying about 570 something dollars per month. I'm loving this truck. This is exactly what I was looking for, especially with this all new Flowmaster Super 10 muffler. This thing sounds incredible. I love this truck. I don't regret buying it at all. I love the fuel economy. I'm averaging almost 17 MPGs and that's with rough driving, making aggressive videos, showing off the muffler. It's a great truck. If you're looking for a new truck, I would definitely recommend checking out the 2023 Ram 1500. I love the Midnight Edition on the Big Horn. I would recommend checking it out and I would definitely recommend hitting up Furman Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram in Newport Ritchie, Florida, if you're in the Florida area. If you're a little bit in north of Florida, check out the dealership that I bought this truck for. I haven't shouted them out yet. Step One Automotive, CDJR, and Fiat. 
of South Savannah, Georgia. They haven't just given me a great deal on the truck. They gave my dad a great deal on his Longhorn Limited Edition. At the time of the chip shortage, he got just about the same discount that I got on this Bighorn. And it's a nicer truck. And at the time, the truck was actually cheaper than it is now. About three or 4000 bucks. There's that red light camera again. But I'm starting to ramble a little bit now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you've already subscribed, thank you so much. You guys know the channel is just not possible without you. And I really appreciate the constant support. But again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Leave a like too. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. That's how these videos get promoted to new people. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you don't like. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's any specific cars, SUVs, or trucks you want to see reviewed on this channel. And I'll definitely try getting those videos for you ASAP. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope all of you have a great day.